Hey guys, uh, I want to do a more, a uh, little bit of ad advanced usage of OpenJS Grid. I've had a couple requests come in to do a master detail thing where you have one main grid at the top and then a detail grid underneath where clicking on rows of the master grid changes the detail grid. Uh, this is pretty easy to do, but I thought I'd give you the demo instead of trying to make a page for it uh, to show it off. So uh, what I've done is I've gotten a demo SQL database from my SQL, which is this countries and cities. So I've got cities, list, countries, and then country language. I'm not doing anything with the language, just going to do countries and cities. So country is going to be our master, and then cities is going to be our detail. And you can see that there's a connection here. This country code here is the unique identifier for each of the countries, and that is what links the cities here. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with. So let's start with, so what we've got here is a blank, well, not yet, a blank page. There you go. And then we've got our blank HTML page and our blank Ajax page. Over here, we've got our old HTML page that you get when you download OpenJS Grid. So let's copy that and let's paste that into here. So let's get rid of all the JavaScript because we're going to uh, write new stuff. Well, we'll leave the jQuery open and closing. Uh, we'll get rid of these comments here. We'll keep things clean. And uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this because we're going to write our own stuff. So what are our two grids going to be? Well, our first grid is going to be called uh, countries, right? Countries. And then that table. So table. Close the table. TR. Close TR. OK, so our first TH is going to be, let's do, let's pull this up. We're going to do, well, here. Since I won't show you both of these at the same time, we're going to do uh, call equals code. Code's going to be the first thing, call that code. Second thing, th, can't type this morning, uh, is going to be name, so name of the country, right? So you get the pattern there. I'm just going to paste in the other couple here. So I'm going to do name, continent, region, population, service area, okay? Just basic stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my second table here, okay? So I'm just going to copy this whole section and make a second table. This is going to be called cities. And this one's going to have a couple different pieces that's found in the city table, which are these. So we've got name, district, population. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to add country name in here as well. So this is going to be a join, right? Because this, this section right here is not found in the city table. Okay, so if we go to city, you can see we've got name, country code, district, and population. We do not have country name. So we're going to join on this top t uh, this top table in code so that we can actually get that name. Figured that would be something we'd want to do here. So let's talk about these actions now, because normally we have, well, let's go to class, right? So this is going to be class equals grid, as always, and then countries. And then we're going to have an action equals, and I'll talk about that in a second. And same here, we're going to have class equals grid, and then cities. And this is going to have action equals. Now, what's this action going to be? Well, for this one, it's going to be our normal, we have a file called world ajax, so world ajax.php. I don't want to make two separate PHP files. I'm going to make one PHP file, okay? So I'm going to add a parameter in the URL to let me know if I'm a country or a city. So I'm going to say question mark uh, countries. And what that does is that means that I can, in PHP, I can do dollar sign underscore get and figure out if I pass the word countries or not. And that way I can tell if I'm doing the countries. So similarly, we'll copy this and use this here, and we'll pass in uh, cities instead. Okay. Now, one extra thing we're going to do here. Cities need more data than this. Cities also need the country code, otherwise it, it won't know what to join on. So we could, we could default it in code, all right? uh, but we could put it here as well. I'm going to put it here so you can see what it is now, and then we could also take it away later and do, do a default a different way. But for now, we're going to say um, and uh, and country equals, and I'm going to start with USA, okay? Now, one thing to note here is I have question mark cities. Normally, when you do these parameters, you need to, you need to do something equals something. You don't have to do it up here because there's only one. Just for, just for kicks, though, I'll do equals one for, like, true equals one, okay? This makes it more complete. So, all we're doing here is we're calling our ajax.php, we're sending it cities equals one, basically saying true, and country equals USA countries equals one. Similarly, I could do like type equals uh, type equals country and type equals city. You know, that makes more sense. Let's go ahead and just do that. So type equals country and type equals city. Okay? So now we have two different types and then this one also has country. Okay? 
Um, great, so let's save that. So let's go ahead and write our PHP file now. Uh, so I'm going to start off by doing uh, PHP tags, right, etc. So normally with our PHP, uh, we're going to connect to our database and require grid. Okay, so let's connect to our database and require grid. I'm connecting to a database called Demo World. Now we have those get parameters, so we need to test for them. So if is set, and actually we know it's going to be set. So we don't have to test for his setness. We're going to say if get type equals, uh, let's do uh, country for the first one. So if type is country, that's the first one. Else if get type equals city. Okay, and that's the second one. So there's our two. All right, so let's, get to, let's work on country. Uh, so we're going to do grid equals new grid as always and we're going to pass it our ta our table name which is country and there's actually going to be no parameters we're not doing anything special here that's it done country is done let's go ahead and do the cities now cities have an extra parameter right we need to get that country we passed in so let's say country code equals underscore get um, I believe I called it country so this will allow me to see the country code now so now I've passed it from the HTML into here now that I have the country code let's put a comment we have the country code now. Okay. Now that we have the country code, uh, we need to do the same thing. So grid equals new grid, and this time it's going to be city. And this time we are going to have some stuff in the array. Okay. So what are we going to have? Well, we're going to have first our uh, where statement because we passed in a value. We need to make sure it's against that value. Um, so country. So how do we test for that? Um, so cities have a country code field. So we're going to say where city dot country code equals, and in, in uh, apostrophes, we're going to do that country code right there. Okay, and that's this guy. Okay, so that's our where statement. So now, and we, we could be done here right now, but we're going to do that extra piece that we saw where we're going to do this country name. Okay, so let's do that. So to do that, we need to join. So we're going to say joins and that's going to be equal to an array of joins. And our first join, we only need one, is going to be uh, left join country on country.code equals city.countrycode. All right, that's our join. And now, just because we did the join isn't good enough, that just does the join, now we need to actually select a field from that other table. So to do that, we're going to do uh, fields array, which always should go hand in hand with your joins. So that's going to be an array as well. So what are we selecting? We're going to say, and this is our alias, and again, we called it country name. So let's just copy that. So country name, and that is the equivalent of doing country.name. Now that we have access to country, see, we join our country. Now we have access to country. Now we can use it. Okay? And that's it. So now we've done our where statement to limit our table. We've done our join in our fields to actually get new data. And we've done our country. So let's test it out and see uh, what I typed wrong. So refresh. And I get that, which means the grid's not loading. Let's find out. Oh, I didn't write any JavaScript. Well, that would be a big problem. So let's write the JavaScript for these tables. Um, pretty simple JavaScript here. Uh, we're going to do. Uh, var country grid equals dot countries which is referring to our first one and then we're just going to call dot grid and then var city grid equals dot city oops didn't put the dot dot cities dot grid so now we basically called grid on both of these guys so if I refresh there you go now I've got two grids but you're like okay well that's great but that doesn't actually finish the job you're right I need to actually make it clicky clicky so how do we do that so we're going to add a row click so I give you a row click so we're going to do country grid dot on row click. And that's going to be a function. And that passes the event. That passes the jQuery row. And that passes the row data to you. OK? And just so you can see what row data is, if I click on one of these, you can see we've got code, name, continent, region. That gives us all the data. So obviously, what we need is the code. So we're going to say var code equals row data dot code there we go and now what we need to do is just reload the uh, cities grid so to do that 
you're going to use the plugin method. Okay, so we've got our city grid, and we're going to call grid, which is how you call things. You use the J, the, it's a jQuery plugin, and you got to use the jQuery plugin to call methods. So we're going to call the method load. Now, if we called this, it would just reload the grid, but it wouldn't actually pass any data in. What we need to do is actually change the action URL, right? Because we, because remember, the action URL is what's giving it the code. So we're going to change that. So I'm going to pass in a parameter here. I'm going to pass in an object and call it action. Same thing as it was there. And I'm just going to paste this in here, like so. I'm going to change this to be plus code. So now we're loading our city grid, changing the action. Save and refresh. And if I click, you can see now it's reloading as I click around that detail grid with other stuff. Okay? And these are all different cities from the database. Okay? So that's how you do it. I'm going to add two more pieces of code in here to show you something that you might want to do as well. This is a row hover. So this is a mouse over on a dot cell data row, which if you check out one of these guys, that's a cell that has data row on it. And I'm going to get the ID from the data row, and I'm just and I've given all of the all of the rows that match to have a grid row with the with the primary key, so that you can do CSS like this grid row ID and change the CSS. So what this does now that I threw those two in there is now I've got a hover, so you can hover the row and you can click it and it will reload the grid. Okay, so that's how you do a master detail page with OpenJS Grid.